This is Excel 2016, Module 7, Part 11. We're going to be working with the second macro. And I'm going to do it two different ways. So in this particular uh, part to the Module 7 series, we're going to look at doing this macro without using the relative references option on the macro buttons. So let's take a look back at our workbook for winter. So for, again, remember we are now in the macro enabled workbook. So we've already saved this workbook so that it can include macros. We've already added our developer tab and if you look in the macros you can see we do have one macro there. So now we're getting ready to record a second macro and what this macro is going to do is it's going to take the information that's down here in this transfer section and it's going to move it over here to the registration data. Now I don't want to use the relative references in this particular example. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to come to row 2. I'm going to highlight row 2 and insert a blank row. Then I'm going to come over here select the information in our transfer area and then use a copy and paste function to paste the answers to the formulas but not the formulas. That will paste into the blank row that we originally created. In the next segment to this series you will see this same macro only instead of adding a blank row first we will use the relative reference option so that it will always go to the first blank row and add it at the end. Alright so let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start out by recording a macro so we're going to go to the record. Alright, we are going to call this transfer data 2. We're adding the 2 because when we do the original transfer data, that one's going to be using the relative references. I am going to make this a control shift T and we are going to store it in this workbook. It is going to have a description that says created 12-1-2017 copy values in the transfer area in the receipt worksheet to the registration data worksheet. And then we're going to add without rel without quote use relative references and we're going to click OK. Alright so the first thing we need to do is insert our blank row. So I'm going to go to registration data, highlight row 2, go to the home tab, and choose and insert a row. 
Then I'm going to go back to the receipt data, scroll down, and I'm going to highlight the transfer area and choose copy. I'm going to click back to registration data, click in A2, and choose the paste down arrow. You want to choose the option that says values. It will paste in the answers, but not the formulas. Then I'm going to click back to the receipt and I'm going to scroll up and make a one my active cell. Then I'm going to go over to the developer tab and stop the recording. So again, if I want to run this macro, there's two ways to test it. I'm going to click somewhere else and then I'm going to click on the macro. I'm going to tell transfer data to and run. And you can see it did move the mouse. And if I come back over here, you can see that it added that information again. So I'm going to go into the receipt and I'm going to change this to a large. And then I am going to do a control shift. T. And you can see that it again added the same data, except this time the shirt size, shirt size changed. In the next section of our module, we're going to look at creating a macro using the use relative references option.